Good morning. We're here today to announce three separate cases highlighting the ongoing threat posed by Chinese economic espionage and research theft in the United States. First, the arrest today of a Harvard University professor for lying about his participation in a Chinese foreign recruitment program. Second, this morning we have unsealed a separate indictment of a Chinese national working as a scientific researcher at Boston University who failed to mention on her visa application that she is also a lieutenant with the People's Liberation Army. Finally, this office has indicted another Chinese national for trying to smuggle vials of biological material out of the United States to China and lying about it to federal investigators. That defendant, whose entry to the United States had been sponsored by Harvard University, was a cancer researcher at a lab at the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. So, this morning, the FBI arrested Dr. Charles Lieber, the chair of the Department of Chemistry and Chemical Biology at Harvard University, for making false statements regarding his involvement in China's Thousand Talents Plan and his affiliation with the Wuhan University of Technology. The complaint alleges that Dr. Lieber signed a contract with the Chinese University in Wuhan and was paid up to $50,000 per month, plus up to $158,000 in living expenses, and awarded more than $1.5 million to uh, set up a research lab at the Chinese school and work there on researching nanotechnology. Lieber also joined China's Thousand Talents Plan, according to the complaint, a Chinese government-run program designed to entice scientists and researchers in the United States to share their research expertise with China. At the same time, Dr. Lieber was receiving U.S. grant funds from the Department of Defense and the National Institutes of Health. National Institutes of Health spends up to $39 million a year funding medical research in the United States. Those programs required Dr. Lieber to disclose if he was working with, including receiving funding from, any foreign power. When questioned, Lieber hid his involvement with the Chinese entities, including specifically disavowing any connection to China's Thousand Talents plan. Meanwhile, based on the complaint, it appears that China paid Lieber hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years for